Hey guys, it's Gary from NLC Rescue. Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the overview and the tutorial of the jack strap. If you haven't seen it yet, the link is in the description. Check it out. Over the past three months, the jack strap has, hit, has been hitting the field and I've been coming down and working with companies on how to train and best utilize this piece of equipment. We've run numerous scenarios. We've done two man team following a hose line in, which could be considered a two out, where the nozzle man instantly had an emergency needed to be rescued. We've done numerous single man scenarios, step scenarios. We've done exiting the basement of a structure. For instance, you know, this is a basement entrance right here. Person gets pulled to safety from the basement and the job isn't even close to being over yet. You still could have eight to 10 steps to go up. At this point, the handles are gonna be very useful. They're gonna give you leverage, they're gonna help you with fatigue, they're gonna keep the victim packaged, and they're gonna help you with speed. We've tried every possible circumstance we can make of. An interesting scenario was recently during a presentation to a department, we allowed one of the firefighters to try to perform a rescue with the jack strap without ever touching it before. He decided to do a blindfolded, and we were curious to see how he, how he performed. We actually have that video here for you to see. Okay, so here's the firefighter making his approach to the down firefighter. Now keep in mind, he's never used this piece of equipment before and he's operating alone. He's completely blacked out and he, if he has the strap, he would be part of a RIT team, which chances are he'd be working with, uh, with at least four other people. So he made his first connection immediately he found the back plate on the, on the breathing apparatus and already has one point of contact. And he spent about 10 seconds shutting off the uh, pass device, which was blowing in his ear. Pardon my camera work here. I'm still getting used to filming this stuff to be able to document this stuff for you guys. He's already made his second connection. Again, he's never touched this piece of equipment before in his life. And he's already got two, two connections made. And now he's going to make a couple of mistakes. Again... Uh, never handled this equipment before. He grabs the handle and he tries to cinch down with it. All right. And intuitively he knows that that's not working and immediately redirects and cinches down the firefighter. And now the firefighter is completely packaged. Again, never been able to manipulate this equipment before, but, uh, but instinctively knows exactly the steps to go through. He has a handle he has one handle and cannot find the second one. And instead of wasting time looking for it, he realizes he has enough to perform his task and is able to complete the mission. So I just wanted to touch base with everybody again. It's been a couple of months. I know it's a short video, but I thought it would be good for you guys to see with zero visibility and not much familiarity with the equipment, how easy and efficient it is. I plan on making more videos focusing on specific scenarios. Hopefully I'll be back within the next month or so. Until then, if you need to contact me, my contact information is in the description. Feel free to shoot me any questions or any scenarios you might want to know of. Until then, be safe. Here's hoping you get it and you never have to use it. Take care of yourself.